Today, we're doing Thomas Jefferson. Who is Thomas Jefferson? He was the third president of the United States of America, and he also wrote the Declaration of Independence, and others signed it because they wanted to be free from Great Britain. Hello, Thomas Jefferson. All right, we're gonna get started with his head. It's very uh, long, he's got a very long head. So we're gonna make a giant oval, so. We're going to make an oval head and then we're gonna go from there, okay? So we are going to make cross here and he's looking slightly that way. So the center part is going to be a little bit off center. Okay, so on that line we're into his eyes. He has very droopy eyes with big um, center eyes. So on one line, we're gonna do his first droopy eye and then make the bottom part touch and come over. And then he's got, you can see half of his eye cause it's kind of a little droopy. I'm gonna make this more. And the upper lid is a little thick. And then up here, right above it, big crease line right there, okay? With his shiny and his pupil, okay? And he will have some like little wrinkles off to the side, but we'll come back to that. All right, let's do this side. So you have his other side, bring it down. And I love back then, I mean, I don't know how, of course now they couldn't really necessarily forward it, but everybody had giant families, you know? All right, there's the other eye, put the shiny in there. So he is also the third child <clears throat> out of 10. Woohoo! That's a big family. Can't imagine, that's a lot to feed. But back then they'd work on farms and everybody worked together. It's a little different than today. Okay, so now on this line, we are gonna do his nose. So it's gonna come down. And then we're gonna have his mouth. It's gonna be somewhere right there, okay? And then we're gonna cut into, this be where his hairline is going to be, okay? So let's bring this around. Is it a wig? Is it not a wig? Mm, I'm guessing a wig. That's my guess. Okay, we can erase this sun apart. We don't need this anymore. So he was born in Virginia and his siblings were six sisters and three brothers, mostly girls. I always say, if you have sisters, you're gonna be a better husband. So I bet he was a great husband because he had six sisters. So he knew all about the girls. Okay. So now let's, he looks kind of funny right now, but it's gonna come together. His eyebrow um, is going to touch right on that crease line. So you're gonna make it touch and it's gonna come up. And then it's gonna be small here. And then he had an eyebrow. I'm not kidding, go back and look. It really, it really did this, no joke. And the little crease lines in there. And you can put some hair in there for his eyebrow, and then this one's not as prominent. It's just kind of going straight across. Not, not as crazy as the other one. And I looked at a lot of pictures and this is what I got, you know? Okay, so we're gonna put some like, kind of like creases in here. And his little wrinkles, and his little under, under eye. Okay, so. Before we go any farther, we are going to do the side. So right here, it's just smooth, but it's gonna come in. You're gonna have it come in a little bit. See how it's coming in, coming out. Show his cheekbone and then make this really straight down. And his chin, let's make it right here. Make it more squared off. And this one we're gonna make more squared off. And then his ear, okay? 
And he kind of had like a cute little smirk in his pictures. Just a slight one. They didn't smile much back then, but I think it's because their teeth were so bad. I think I was reading somewhere like uh, George Washington literally had wood teeth. And, or there's two things, wood teeth or they were animal teeth. But anyways, you, you can't imagine any of them are gonna look that good. Okay, so now we got his nostril right here. Okay, what else do we know? Uh, oh, at the age of nine, he started studying Latin, Greek, and French. He was an amazing horseback rider and he eventually became a lawyer. So, um, I think he was a smart cookie. So this is his ear. So we're gonna erase in here so it looks like it's actually connected. And we'll crease in here. So for his back of his hair, we're gonna make his hair come up a little bit beyond that. This one's gonna be less because his head is turned. So let's erase this part in here. Okay, he married Martha Whaley Skelton and they had six kids together. So even though he's, it's not 10 kids, they still had six kids. And then even now in this day, if you have six kids, that's a lot of kids. Anyways, I have four and that is a perfect, I love, I'm an even number kind of gal. Loving the even numbers. Okay, so their hair, it's gotta be a wig. I think, put a couple of swoops in there. Um, he believed oh, the government should be small, amen, love it. Anyways, he thinks there should be a government, but it was, should be small, maybe to protect and I like that. Good, good. Would I love to meet him? Oh yeah. Okay, so now let's put his neck in there. So we have a neck and we'll put a little crease line in here. And then this is for the chin. So he has a little bit of neck right here, but we're going to put in his shirt back then. They love to have those high wrinkly collars. And this is his jacket. And it's gonna come down. Whoop. I'm gonna make his jacket come out. And we'll make his shirt come out. Super job. And then we're gonna put his fluffy little ruffly collar in there. So it's woohoo! So we're gonna finish off his hair and put some hair coming out here. It's gonna look better once we sharpie and color it. Yes, yes. All right, so I'm going to sharpie it, <clears throat> outline it with a thick sharpie, and then I'm gonna show you how I colored it to make it look like that. So let us, let us begin. Now I'm gonna use a thick Sharpie for the outfit. Now I'm going to use the eraser. All right, let's try to get this to look more like that. Oops, sorry. Okay. 
Okay, color the whole thing in all of the skin peach, the whole thing. Then we're gonna add some more to it, but start with the peach. What else do I know about him? Oh, he, oh, he ran for president against John Adams and John Adams won, but he came in second place. And back in the day, whoever came in second became vice president. So before he was president, he was vice president. That's cool, huh? They don't do that now. They uh, kind of pick the candidates ahead of time. So you're kind of voting for both. But I like this fact of small government. He probably would be keeling over in his grave now if he knew how big the government is right now because yeah so now go around the outside and then push down harder and as you come in make it go lighter he also which is another cool thing he sent the lewis and clark expedition out to explore Ooh, that is cool i did do a video on sacajuia so we know I should probably do one on Lewis and Clark too. Excelente, good idea. So many videos I wanna do, so little time. Cause I try to fit these in on my spare time with my other job and responsibilities, but I just love doing them so much that I just, just gotta keep going. So fun, I always learn about something new, which that's always fun. Something I never knew. I always like learning. Learning new stuff. If I could go back in time, I would have listened more in history class. <laughs> but you know, when you're young, you think, eh, eh, stuff's not important. And as you get older, you realize uh, history repeats itself and it's all so interesting and how the country was formed and everything. So interesting. I just don't have a lot of spare time, which I need to just can't make more time, but prioritize learning and growing. Okay, so kind of go around where all the Sharpie is a little bit with pencil, but we're gonna be adding more of different colors. So now let's come in with tan. So we're doing layers, it's all about layers. So we're gonna give it the shadow in here, which it's gonna have more shadow than that, but we're starting off with this shadow. This is the tan color. He's got a shadow under his nose. Um, his upper lip just a little bit crease lines under his chin and then underneath his chin we're gonna make that darker we're gonna make it darker yet with oops look I just went over the line eh, kind of came off right on and then go along the edge here darker along the edge and then come in lighter and lighter. All right, mm, one little here. What else are we gonna do? Uh, a little bit down here. Okay, we're gonna give him some pink. So there's a little pink on his cheeks and his nose. Um, the picture I looked at, it kind of looked kind of like a little sunburn on his nose, which I thought was so cute. I mean, they probably didn't have sunscreen back then. So if they were out in the sun a little too long, they're gonna, it's gonna feel it. So we're gonna give him a little pink on his cheeks. And just a little bit on his lips, just so he doesn't look like a corpse. Wouldn't want that. Okay, let's do his eyes real quick. So what I did is they looked like a hazel. So I did a little yellow at the bottom. And, oh, I don't have green. I did a touch of green in there. And then I also did brown and light brown. So this is my light brown. 
And if you want to put a touch of green in there, I don't have the green with me at the moment, but you can make a green. And then I used gray to make the shadow under here. That looks good. And this should probably be red, but I don't have red right now. So we're just gonna put this in a little pink little in there. Okay, so now we're gonna use brown. Is this regular brown? No, that's light brown. What we can do? Regular brown. Oh, actually, let's do light brown. So let's give it more of a shadow in here. shadows. I'm going to do a little touch around the eyes just so just a little bit. Along the edge here. So royal underneath his chin. He's coming along, coming along. More shadow right here. Put a little bit of more color on his cheekbones. By going different directions, you're kind of filling in some of those gaps a little more. And his eyebrows, definitely is more in here. Man, it's not, a, it's never enough, right? Shadowing's never enough. That's good for now. We could go under here, make this really dark under here. Okay, so now let's get gray. So we're gonna do his eyebrows, put a little gray in there. So they're kind of grayish white. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side, a little gray white. And his hair. So I'm gonna go around the outside of his hair with the gray and then bring it out, just feather it out to light. And we will go in there with a darker black, but we're gonna make this part gray coming out here. Mm -hmm. a little darker in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I never think I'm done coloring, so I'll color, 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 and I'll just keep working on it. Are you, if you're actually still watching this video, congratulations. You guys are winners. What'd you win? I don't know. A high five for me. Good job. And if you're doing a report on Thomas Jefferson, I wish you well, and I hope the report goes great. When I was a kid, I was the report queen. I loved doing reports. And I always got A plus plus, because I just loved doing them so much. And back in the day, we didn't have computer. What? We didn't have computers, but how old are you? Yeah, I'm old. Um, so we did everything by hand. And so I did, as you can imagine, uh, a lot of it was filled with drawings and maps and graphs. So I put a lot of effort in it, but my writing wasn't as good. Like, um, oh, I need to add some extra little lines in here. Um, so I used to write really big, <laughs> try to fill in the room because it mostly was filled in with like the pictures and the graphs. And I do my writing. Very, Very big. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go around the outside with the gray. We're doing it. Jefferson's getting done. So we're gonna do feathering out light here. We can add some more hairs in here.
super job. So I'd come in here with maybe the black and we're gonna give it some black in here. The under, the underbelly, undertones. Okay, so give it the color background you want and you can add some gray in there and hope you have a great day.